All right, we took the juniper out the rack because she makes a lot of noise, and I'm not a fan. See what I did there? I'm not a fan. Um, anyway, so these fans tend to cycle up and down a lot. I don't like it. So I don't care that they cycle up and down. I care that they're so damn loud in the rack. So if you see here, they're 12 volt fans. So, and then the, so I got the little pin out right here and it's blinking and well it's got a little alarm light because that fan's unplugged um actually i think it might be something else anyway there's an alarm i don't really care that two fans aren't plugged in i'd go down to one but it's still loud so the plan is to unsolder uh those connections right there and then put that or connect that to this fan which was salvaged out of a Cisco machine uh, and is a 24 volt fan um, so the reason is because this 24 volt fan will run at half speed um, and I was checking the, the little pins on there and it's putting out a full 12 volts and then there's this PWM madness that puts out three volts so I think it's throttling it down but basically the fan is only ever going to get uh, a maximum of 12 volts on a 24 volt fan so that should slow it and quiet it down considerably um, or at least that's the uh, that's the thought process okay, we're going to see if it goes oh yes, lord I copy. radio traffic okay. kids playing with radios I love it anyway um, so that's the plan we got the uh, soldering iron heating up and um, I'm not gonna pain you with uh, me undoing all that we'll just show you what the finished result looks like, looks like. all right we got one of them working if you'll excuse that um, that craziness right there. It's hooked in. I don't think you can hear it. I can barely hear this one. It's quiet. It's only running at a half power. This one's still a bit loud. So we'll see what this one sounds what it sounds like when I unplug it. Oh yeah. That's damn near silent. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty quiet. So now we just do the same thing to the other one. And I'll have a quiet switch. Oh lord. Alright, bang. We're in. Um, probably a little bit more slack than I needed. Um, the screws that fit in the old fans were too small to fit in these so I had to uh, wallow out the hole in the frames to get some bigger screws in. I had to dip into my little screw stash there but uh, let's hear what it sounds like. So the fans are gonna come up at full speed while well, the computer's gonna tell them that. The computer's gonna tell them to come up at full speed but they're gonna... Uh, let's just see. So they're on right now. All right, yeah. So this, we got both of them working and it's absolutely silent. The switch doesn't seem to be complaining. So um, we're gonna call that good. Yeah, I can't even hear these fans. Perfect, all right. And that's how you make a switch quieter. Put higher voltage rated fans.
there were 12s in here. We put 24s. Shh, quiet. Um, you could also put a resistor in line with the fans. So you could cut one of the wires, probably the, the red, and put a resistor in there. Um, I don't have resistors. What I do have are fans. So I swapped the fans. Figured I'd get some temperature data um, on the uh, on the switch instead of leaving y'all hanging. Um, so it thinks the two fans are dead, um, but I mean, in the physical world, they are spinning and they're moving a little bit of air. Um, temperatures at 42 C, um, so that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, uh, it seems to work. The switch is not happy about it, but. Um, it's run. It's working. Temperature seems to have leveled off. It's been running for um, a couple hours or so, so should be good.